Yeah, so a few a few years ago, I was trying to find a mentor. I was curating a show that was quite intense and an, an emotional experience for me. Um, talking about national identity and I was trying to find a mentor that might have uh, curated similar things or um, that might understand my experiences. I was looking firstly at all the um, Asian art departments but unfortunately I sort of realised that there actually aren't any people of colour in those departments. I curated a show using photographs by Elaine Siren and her works shot decades of Aboriginal protests, especially in Sydney and those that were happening across Gadigal land. This is a really beautiful shot from, I think, in 1983 March. I, I find living here, I want to know more about what's going on. Um, so going to like book sales and finding old things like this pamphlet which was produced for the opening of the Sydney Opera House and it talks about Benelong. Very interesting to see how his history has been told through such a white frame. I actually find the biggest challenge is trying not to, I think, pigeonhole myself into this category of culturally and linguistically diverse. Um, I find it really limiting, and I think other artists as well are probably also finding it a little bit limiting. Do you want to go first? Uh, sure. <clears throat> Future projects. Okay. I think for myself, I've learned a lot being on the board of First Draft, and I've actually I've really come to see how um, how institutional change needs to happen from the top. It needs to happen from a board level yes. right down to the directors, the curators, and the staff. Yeah. Uh, and I think without the support of a diverse board, it's really hard to uh, to enact those types of changes. Mm -hmm. Which is why I think so many of us have aspirations of starting our own space or being the directors of of a, of a space because. I think a lot of it is about you know who gets to, who has the institutional power and often when you're working within um, an institutional framework that doesn't sort of support you and your full identity, um, you sort of, you know, you, you can only get to a certain point with those types of conversations uh, and I think um, yeah, when we run our own art spaces, <laughs> um, it'll be a really incredible time yeah. to, to actually have those conversations at the fore. We should be, as I said, representing the face of the world, and we clearly aren't. So you look to the gatekeepers in the museums and galleries, and if they're all predominantly white, then of course it's not going to represent the actual world we live in.